An elf. Obviously, we don't want to play a Puggo. Beast is more okay. We don't have a target for a Matterlorn. We might get one. Actually, we need uh, to use Deathfish units. We, we kind of have that. It's, it's a barely, barely usable round one hand. Don't forget to destroy the snowman. But I asked before, have, have any of you find uh, anything other than the avatar? Okay. In this case, we don't have any Andrega larvas. That would be the... The go-to opener. And we have to consider that we only have three Deathfish units at the noon rate. I don't really want to play. We might need to keep it for later. It's not because like wasting a noon rate is definitely definitely the end of the world, but if we don't get even one noon rate later, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. So I think we're just gonna start with the haunt, probably followed by a penitent, followed by a plague maiden in the, f the first row. Actually, a beast would be decent, but it might be just penitent into beast. Unclear. Isn't he going to kill it? So we go penitent. Okay. So I guess at this point we have enough consumes. Uh, then we can go beast. Then a plague maiden. That, that's a bit unfortunate, but we have enough consumes. I, I found 15 ore later. <laughs> oh man. But I haven't clicked it that much. Okay, let's go beast in the back and just wait. We don't have any bronze cards that we can target with the Baya, so that's a little bit dead. Our best pull. Hmm. Actually, we have most of the high end cards, but it seems like the best pull is a Karen. But it's tied for an operator and tied for a Karen tier. Yeah, I don't know. This this kind of defeats the purpose of tempoing round one. We can pass. Should we pass? No, I don't think so. If we pass now, he's gonna be down at least a card. Yes? You want him to not bleed? But he's gonna be two cards down. And you get round 3 10 points. Push to death? <laughs> what? Very conflicting. But maybe he's the biggest noob of all time. And he's gonna push me anyway. And currently we're pretty strong. I mean, he shouldn't. This seems like the most obvious pass of all time. But at the same time, this guy might be the biggest noob. Of all time. So... At least the previous person. The reason why I'm hesitant with this pass. Is because the previous guy. Did something that, you know. Makes no sense. Unless he, he exactly know that what I'm running. Which is a bit of a... Tricky uh, call to make. I wouldn't have made his, uh, well, the decision in his case, so, I don't know. It's not as clear. Uh, maybe kick the Harpy Egg. No, actually, no. Kick the Larva. 
Because we can uh, target the egg. We, he might play one card, that's fine. Maybe people are already familiar with this deck. I fucking doubt it. <laughs> I've seen something like this. Remotely like this. Once. That guy was running like a total trash version. Like not even close to this. Basically he had some new, tr new rates in there and that had nothing else. With like a gals. That was his entire plan. Total trash. That was like some time ago. This is like... Compared to that, this is like 15.0 version, so much better. So let's see what we do. We can do Matahari. Uh, we're gonna do a Harpy Egg at least. Yeah, I don't know. We just get more mulligans, so I guess we're gonna go for that. We, we, we can't do Hatamari here. Because he passed. It doesn't work. If not, the player has passed. And it's also probably better last round. So, we kick the egg. It doesn't help us. That That is exactly uh, the biggest kick. Okay. Jotun is a finisher. Consume. We don't have a Kerem. That is a, that is a problem. So, consume-wise, we are in a tough spot. We cannot really afford to go for the Kairon here. Because I just need a deck that... I need a hand that works. But actually, we might get the Kairon anyway. But I think we're just gonna go like this. We might get our Karantir later, and it's gonna be a totally dead Karantir. We play in the back. We gonna... Because we already have Gals and Matahari in the back. Claiming the back with two slots. So Plague Maiden can go in the front. We have a Glusty. So we're gonna operate her. A noon raid. Sadly no Kahir. Pro ladder. What? He's oh his leader can Yeah that's exactly yeah that's true. He can shoot the rats. Good point. The last guy didn't do that. Maybe this guy's uh Um Opt not to do that as well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess we can push him, but... They usually use up the precision strike round one. So... You you may make some good sense with that, because he may have used up the precision strike if he... If he kept pushing. So... Yeah, good idea. And most likely we could have done it. But passing is basically guaranteed. Like, we, we, we were in an amazing spot. Okay, let's see what we got. The naivety is a fool's blessing. Okay. Four rats. I can play even more rats. I don't know. In this scenario, I feel like maybe Matahari. It kind of depends. It kind of depends. If he kills Gals, then I don't care too much. Actually, I still might care. It seems like it's gonna be more of a marathon here. I, I gotta make sure that we don't break. This dance, you will never okay. So we're gonna copy a noon rate. Uh, Hatamari is the best third round because you deny his units anyway, so it's card advantage. And I know, but sometimes, sometimes we have to push round one. I don't really plan to use it like round two too, too much. Oh man, that's that's a really bad idea, mate. I know he can deny some reds, but still looks risky.
Okay, we can spawn four rats. We can also spawn two extra rats. Wait. Damage unit by two. So he has four ways to deny rats. That's a little annoying. But I guess the Gusty is a finisher. So at this point, just giving him rats is actually good for me. Well, maybe not quite worth it, but it will force him to damage his own units. He's being dumb. <laughs> Wait, does he scorch? He can't scorch because he has a six point. Oh, okay. It's gotta be Shiro. Huh. I guess I, I want to do a Jotun, but let's just uh, focus on our denying efforts. We really wanted to take out the Noon Braids. What? <laughs> He's gonna hit that. Okay, sometimes it's buggy. But the noon rate is buggy because sometimes it's supposed to spawn two rats. But if the rats would randomly spawn on. Yeah, the programming is buggy. What I want to say is that if a row is full, then all the rats are going to spawn on the other row. But if, for example, if, if it can decide between any of the rows, if any of the rows have at least one spot on them, then both rats can spawn on the row that has only one spot. Which is just stupid. I don't know who thought of that. Mr. Programming Guy, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. Why not just have like two two things? Like, spawn the first rat, spawn the second rat. Why it has to be happening at the same fucking time? It's not buggy. There's no room. But no, no, no. It spawns. Oh wait, spawn two rats in a random enemy row. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong here. I thought like. I thought like it was like any rows, but no. It can only spawn on on one row. I didn't realize that. That is just not intuitive, because that's not what I assumed. Oh man. Okay, we need to block him. Oh man. Glusty number two. How big is the Glusty going to be? Oh shit. <laughs> this guy doesn't know. Guys, look at this. Precision strike. I'm telling you guys, precision strike doesn't work on the rats. Oh, it, it does. But he still burned the unit. Oh? Huh? Looked like that. Let's do Plague Maiden. He's a smart one. But it won't work. There's only so many guys he can uh, put there. <gasps> what the fuck, mate? That also made my... My Jotun worse. I can't eat that. Let's go. Oh, he needs to be on the front row. Oh, man. I guess I can just play this guy in the back. And he's gonna play one more unit. It's probably better, just in case he has some shutdown. 
Wait, he might just kill some rats. I guess that's fine. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. I'm not eating the rats, though. So, we gotta play in the back. Whatever. Eat two rats, why not? No! I want to see the biggest Glusty. There's no point in eating rats. Oh no. <laughs> the rats are not elves, mate. Oh, four units boosted. Let's go, Jotun. Still 21 points, pretty good. Biggest glusty, big, <laughs> biggest, gliggest busty. What? Yeah. No, no, no. There's not gonna be an igni here, guys. D don't, don't even think that. Oh crap. He's hitting the four. Let's hit the four. Oh yeah. I think he's maybe thinking about igni here. And I, he will be able to play it. Wait. Oh man. I really hope it's not gonna be an igni. Is it Igni? Well, we have to play. Woody free. He's pretty big though, so... As long as he has a normal unit, not like a hard counter, we should be able to beat him. Scorch, Chew and Igni? I don't know. The last guy was, was special. Maybe this guy is special too. Maybe he has all the fire spells. GG.